let's talk just a bit about outlining and and outline of course is is, is uh, something you you've, you've been doing throughout the, the course of the year you have been outlining your your you have your, your main outline for each course uh, you're going to have uh, you you you'll be doing case briefing which is a form of outlining now when you get to your exams it's the same thing and what you're going to be doing is setting forth each question you start off with that set forth the question at the beginning of the answer and then you start summarizing the facts all right so you you're doing your outline set forth your question summarize the facts and then set forth the facts uh, in chronological order okay so you want have you want to have a um, the question a summary of the facts and then the chronological um, um, presentation of those facts the Iraq method IRAC issue rule of law rule of law analysis and conclusion start off with an issue statement the issue statement is very important the answers are based upon the outcome determination of specific legal issues a summary of the legal question presented I'll repeat that for you the answers on your exam are based upon outcome determination of specific legal issues so what you need is a summary of the legal questions presented okay now you have rule we just talked about issue now we have rule in the Iraq process what is the applicable rule of law okay what rule of law applies to the this set of facts and you will have it in the uh, in the body of the of the hypo and it's very important when you when you're going through this process to uh, identify what the rule of law is next step analysis apply the law to the issue you have a set of facts apply the law to those facts you're analyzing the law in relation to the issues set forth um, your job is to determine how the law is applied to the facts it's very critical and of course you're going to have a conclusion it's very important that you understand that when you're going through this process you have to make sure that you come back to the conclusion you have to answer the question that you you've been asked and uh, you, what you will do is you will have a, a statement of the outcome and sometimes you can you will be able to say on the other hand and very often you will be able to do this by setting forth the majority view of the law as they apply to this, these facts and then the minority view of the law as they apply as it applies to these facts um, so is, and, and if you have a few, it's very important that you make sure that when you are you're, you're writing your conclusion you make sure that you're answering the question that the professor asked because sometimes there will be red herrings sometimes there are tangents sometimes there are facts or parties or situations that sound similar to something you read in another fact pattern or something you read in an old uh, practice exam and it's put there to throw you off and uh, you've got to be very careful not to have a, a preset notion in your mind as to what the question is going to be make sure that at this critical moment you answer the question that the professor has asked so reread the question and make sure you answer it properly now what's going to happen is that you're going to see that um, that there you know you you're, you're trying to score points as we alluded to a, a few moments ago and 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 that's basically what it's all about because because your, your grade is going to be de determined by the amount of points you score and you will find that uh, there's there, that each professor is going to be different it's going to be very difficult to to, to guess or to, to, to say that they all use the same method but generally speaking generally speaking it'll be something like this using the Iraq method you can say generally 
10 points, about 10 points, will be devoted towards the issues that you set forth. In other words, 10 points in your exam will come from identifying the issues that are in the questions. Okay? 10 points there. Okay. Now, the rule of law portion, identifying the rule of law, will be about 25 points, roughly. And that's going to be very important because 25 points, you know, is very critical. Analysis. Analysis is going to be about 35 points. And conclusion, about 5 points. So you're figuring 10 points for issues, 25 points for rule of law, about 35 points for applying the law or your, your analysis, because that's, you know, the body of what you're going to be doing, and about 5 points for conclusion which leaves about another 25 points for what we can call lawyering skills. And let's say you'll have something like five points for organization, maybe five points for your writing style, uh, five points for presentation of, of, of a logical answer, uh, five points for writing a persuasive answer, and about five points for effectiveness. Now these are, uh, you know, it varies obviously from professor to professor, but these are ways where you can pick up some points for, uh, for getting uh, additional material on your paper. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, these are the, the, this is the general method by which you're going to be taking your exam. Uh, I advise you to, to go over this, this lecture again or a couple of times and just listen to it carefully if you didn't get it the first time. And I uh, wish you all the luck in the world.